viongozi wale wa kike ambao chini ya mwamvuli wa Embrace hata wao leo hii wameweza kuwa wanapeleka mapendekezo yao katika ule mwamvuli wa BBI kumbuka waliweza kuteuliwa na Rais Rumugai Kenyatta pamoja na ukaweza kupewa shime pia vile vile na yaliyokuwa waziri mkuu Raila Amolo Odinga kwamba wazunguke maeneo tofauti tofauti angalau kuweza kuchukua maoni ili kuangalia upi mustakbali wa taifa wapi tupige msasa wapi tuweze kuimarisha tuweze kusikia mapendekezo yao ni yapi wanapokuwa wanatoa kwa FSAS The lack of results uh, in ongoing graft cases is also eroding public trust in government and public institutions with impact on access to public services. We make the following proposals, among other things, built on role of women as value champions as they undertake their role in upholding national values, speaking out on corruption as whistleblowers and forging an honest, right-based community of Kenyans. There is need to promote honest public services in the country. We advocate and strongly recommend establishment of effective and efficient accountability and transparency systems in health, <coughs> food and nutrition, land, education, agriculture, water, and finance and other state organs and agencies that impact negatively on women, children, and other disadvantaged groups in the society. Therefore, we recommend strengthening the Office of the Auditor General to reduce wastage, leakages, corruption, and mismanagement of public resources at the national and county government levels. We also recommend that in April of every financial year, in a joint sitting of the National Assembly and Senate, that the Auditor General shall present detailed audited accounts of the preceding financial year for the national and the county governments. Mm -hmm. And we also recommend that the Auditor General should be empowered to track the projects as they are ongoing and not uh, do audit after, uh, after the project ends, so that where the money is lost, it can be known, and where no money is, uh, is lost, it can also be known. We also recommend that the report of the Auditor General shall cover details of the absorption rates for both recurrent and development expenditures, and show any malpractices in appropriation. We also recommend that the, general, uh, the Auditor General um, as, who has been doing detailed accounts that they are only sent to the public accounts committee and miss the public scrutiny and attention that is necessary for the fight against corruption. We also recommend that any flagship or high profile government projects, the contractor needs to give a certificate of the different phases of the project cycle to the mother ministry treasury and central bank so that once the three have independently confirmed that the deliverables are uh, as they should should be uh, and are satisfied then the next batch of money can be released. we also recommend that any public body state state organ commission or government agency um, mentioned and anniversary in the report of the auditor general should suffer the consequences such as reduced allocation to the extent of the funds misappropriated. The investigative agencies upon the uh, presentation of the report of the Auditor General upon the floor of the House, investigative agencies should kick in. And that the national and county government must declare the money not spent within the financial year. Yes. Treasury must also declare the amount that was spent and not spent in the various ministries. So that are ministry projects where our funds and previously been allocated can be identified and no new funds should be allocated yeah. on the same. Then um, on accountability in procurement, we recommend that